What's up people of the internet? I'm a big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron N2840 which is a CPU based on the Silvermont architecture and part of the Bechera family of power efficient processors. It has two cores with all hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron N2840 has the Intel HD graphics page rail as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in the Celeron's case. It's also based on the same Ivy Bridge architecture as the Intel HD 4000 with Lenov, where using the latest driver suite available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive for the operating system and a 1TB external one which game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system we're using Windows X Lite Redstone Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. You guys must have certainly anticipated me to try this game. I mean someone even spammed it like a godzillion times. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is The Forest. But before starting, keep in mind that I'll be playing the game in 32-bit mode using the DirectX 9 API. To make it run in 32-bit mode, it's pretty simple. Just go to your game directory and make sure to run the game not from the normal The Forest or The Forest VR.exe, but from The Forest 32.exe. Now, to make it run in DX9, right click and make a shortcut of the game executable. Right click on the shortcut and go to properties. In the pop up menu, in target, press space and add the force D3D9 command as I'm writing it. And that's how to play the forest in 32 bit DX9 mode. Also, I'm gonna use the memory duct app before launching the game just in case. And let's finally get straight to the point. 